Don't do that to me. Hi. Hi guys, welcome to a Haphazard of Gaming. I am Envy, this is Alex, and we are playing Dandelion, which is brought to you. Why did you say it so fast? Because I was afraid you were going to be like, wow, you're being really boring again. You were like, last time you were just like, you know, slow. I know, that's why I was doing it fast. I was too fast. I wonder how Eddie's doing. Don't wonder about that. <laughs> Are you worried? Or G Hey will be fine. Are you worried? Yes. I miss Eddie. Why does only go? Right? That's an inappropriate time to wear a bikini. Wear a bikini. <laughs> oh look at his face, he's all like creepy smiling. Did you plan to surprise me? That's oh that's creepy. Creepy is all hell. That was just plain weird. I regret that action. <laughs> This is where they're supposed to actually start, like, being a couple, so this is gonna be interesting. There's no way. She's still gonna be, like, his weird master owner thing. <laughs> She's just the new Eddie. Okay, pick a place. Um, that one that looks yellow. This? That's our house. Oh, uh, then no, not that one. Bench. The bench? The bench. The park or the art gallery? Art gallery. Yes, I'll go. The exhibit of the Western artist. I'm curious. This is. Pick one. Uh, I don't know the first one. Yes, but it seems alive. I wish I'd grown taller soon. Well, we gave you a taller thing. I know. It's it. You must have a new idea for your next work. I'm curious as to how it'll turn out. I enjoyed the exhibit. How about you? He talks too much now. I like holding hands with you. We're home sooner than I expected. <clears throat> Find a little drama. So is it like just game over once we get to 125? 50. 150? Oh my god, what I could know. possibly be left? Oh wait, there's still the creepy voice we haven't heard in a long time. Yeah. When will we learn more about creepy voice? Um, 150. Oh really? Not to the end? Yeah. That's ridiculous. Like that's, 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 yeah. Okay. That's ridiculous. That makes me sad and mad. <laughs> what else are you supposed to like? What else are you expecting at the end? I don't know. Let's the end. Interact. Where should we interact with him? I don't know. I don't want to mess this up. His face. <laughs> he liked it. What a creep. I can feel you. Okay. I was looking at the fruits. I don't know what to put in the fridge. Can you explain to me one more time? No, I cannot. You should know this by now. Yeah, it's been like three months, dude. <laughs> yeah. What are we at? 107? They didn't do anything. I like this. Like, um, you know the... stand thingy? That we had the uh, TV on in the bedroom? Yes. Alright, so we got like a bookshelf stand TV thingy now in there. Uh -huh. So the thing that TV was on is in the living room. Okay. I don't want it there. We're gonna throw it out, but it's been there for a couple days now. And uh, so we have like the, uh, the, the table thingy, and then the, you know that dinner tray thing we have? Yeah, I'm familiar with it. <laughs> okay. So, okay. And then when I play COD on the play PlayStation, I move the one chair over, so I have to like play Tetris with our living room furniture because I can't put the chair all the way out with like the way the table is, and then I have to like move everything into weird ass positions, and then the chair gets in the way, and I like legit feel like I'm playing Tetris every time I try to play on the PS3. <laughs> Are you still using Chris's books as uh, your end table? They weren't books, they're boxes. 
That's what I meant. And yes. And yes. I'm always going to use these boxes. They're the perfect height. Oh my god, <laughs> I feel so bad for Chris. Why? He's taking the things out of it that he wanted and we just re... Um. Box it. Is that all just his stuff, yo? Some of my stuff, too? I thought you said you did all your stuff. I had, like, one box that was just mine, and Chris had, like, several boxes that were just his. But then some of our stuff were, like, conjoined in boxes. Oh, okay. But I don't I don't even care about any of my stuff. I'm like, all I need is my computer and my PS3. I'm good. <laughs> and soon we will have a PS4, guys, and then you can watch PS4 stuff. Yay, PS4! Um... But we got his, uh, movies. His out rubies? Of movies? Oh. <laughs> You're like, how excited. So I was like, are we playing, like, <laughs> Legend of Zelda now? <laughs> no, we're just three itch. But, um, we got his, uh, his movies out. We got, we bought a bookshelf. So then we put my two tiny bookshelves that were in that corner in the living room in the, into the closet in the room. Oh, you have a closet of shame again? Yeah. That's Unfortunately. Sad. Well, because he wanted to put his movies in like this really inconvenient, annoying place. So I was like, I'll just move my sh my stuff into the closet because that's easier. And it's it's not all like in a corner all weird like it was before. It's like pretty open in a closet, I guess. I don't know. Oh, he gave me an apple! John gave you the apple from John? That's such a big, uh... Compliment coming from Jayan. Anyways, go on. That was it. We just have the movies on the bookshelf now. Oh, well, that's good. We painted most of the house. I know, Mom keeps sending me picture updates. Oh. She doesn't let me tell you anything. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> she just, like, keeps, like, like, I don't, I feel like she's, like, tweeting almost the way she sends the stuff. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Sometimes I don't know what to say, so I'm just like, oh yeah, that's cool. Like, it looks cool, but I'm just yeah. like, I don't need to see, like, the entire- Like, I want to see, like, a before and after. <laughs> yeah, not like- oh, <laughs> it's, it's just- it's easier to see how it, like, yeah, comes together changing. like that. Because yeah. when it's in mid-change, it's kind of like- I don't know, I can't explain it. Like, it's not all together yet, so there's parts that look kind of weird, because you're like, well, that's not going to be that way for long. Yeah. Oh, the weird guys' house is- Getting updated all nicely. Yeah. yeah, I'm really excited about it. Are you gonna do um, the insulation? I don't know. Or is Which one way should too I pick? expensive. Which one should I pick? Really? I don't even know what the the, the 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 comment was. He said. He said we were pretty. Thank you. There's no need to say thank you. I only told you the truth. Okay. Cheers. Is that delicious? No, I don't want to drink it. I was just curious because you seem to enjoy it. Okay. Anyways, Why does our art skill go down by drinking a cocktail? Because we're boozy? I don't know. Because we're <laughs> We don't know art anymore. <laughs> we're too drunk. Um, I think they want to. They just have to find out to... Hmm. Gotcha. Because it's going to save a lot if we do that. Yeah, I bet. Oh, that only gave us one point. My AC bill was lower than last month this month. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I was excited because I thought it was going to go up. Because it's summer. Because I had it down lower than I had it. So, like, previously, I had it, like, it kind of bounced around from, like, 76 to 80. And this month, it was mostly at, like, 74. It didn't really move. And this month, it was cheaper. So, I think trying to raise it during certain parts made it more expensive so I'm just gonna keep it at what it is yeah that's a good idea so I was excited cuz I'm like yeah I can keep the house really cool, cool. now yeah <sighs> we're getting closer where are we at? I didn't see it 119 ugh that's forever away we'll never get to there never It'll be fine. Let's go with what are you ta thinking? Da 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 da. He's obsessed with Eddie. He shouldn't have told him to leave if he's gonna be all mopey about it. I know. Oh, well, look, we're closer. We're closer. Only four more points. Yay! And then we can zoom through and hopefully get through another loading screen. That'd be cool. 
Didn't mean to hiccup. You guys didn't hear that. Mm, nobody heard that. Nobody. Nobody knows. I hate when they do this! Hmm? Let me find you! Because <laughs> they'll just find you and start talking to you, and I'm like, I, I don't care. I, I, I need to raise up my points. <laughs> Talk to me. me. <laughs> does not raise up your point, so leave me alone. <laughs> See, he does this. Oh, they all do this. I found a pretty pebble at the beach the last time we went together. The pebble reminds me of the memories that we made there. But I'm not giving this <laughs> pebble to you because I want to have something to remember you when we. What? Part. <laughs> that was just random. Just like, but I'm not gonna give it to you. Right? I found it, but you don't get to have it. I was it's just like, fine. okay, was I, was I asking for it at some point? Was it like, I need a pebble? <laughs> I know, but I could just see her be like, oh, really? And he's like, no. This is mine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I did stuff today. Did you? Yeah. What'd you do? Uh, well, I had to change my income for the food stamps. Mm-hmm. But the way that oh, it's so stupid, it's so stupid. Like you would think that they would make it easy just because you have to change your income every single time you do shit, right? So you think that they would make that easy? No, you have to basically turn in a complete new um, application every single time. That's annoying. Because I, I remember of... the I remember the thing for that, and it was like, yeah, annoying. It's all hell. So every single time you have any sort of small change, you have to just completely redo an application. That must be fun. So I had to do that, and then I had to work on my, um, because I get, like, these yearly updates for the student loan stuff. Mm -hmm. so, so I just had to do that. Mm. Eddie can now become happy. I thought you got a, uh, what's it called? Like, a loan forgiveness on the student loans? Yeah, well, hold on. Yeah, come closer. Um, I don't think he said it like that, you. The, the matters that was not, creepy. can't be defined by numbers. Stop making him sound like a weird sleaze ball from the back alley. That's why it's difficult, and with Eddie too. Anyways, I'm very confused about what happened. Your like weird voice for him made it even weirder. <laughs> like I'm very confused. Um, I think he was saying that age doesn't matter, and then he's still in love with GA. Oh, uh, okay. That makes sense. Um, yeah, no, I. But they have, but they do a um, <clears throat> three year. Uh, monitoring period. Why? So if you like no longer become disabled or you start working or you get employment or something like that, then you don't qualify anymore. Oh, uh, okay. So it's just basically like, hey, it's been a year. Has anything changed? Are you still disabled? Are you still not working? That kind of thing. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm like, yep, uh, I'm still disabled. I'm not going to magically become undisabled, so. So I did that. Interesting. And then I talked to Dad. That's fascinating. Yeah. He found out that he thought I was using your guys' Netflix. Yeah. I, I still like... find very weird. You know, I wonder if there's like times where like the Netflix wasn't working well for him, and he's just like, "Oh, it's because they're using it." It could And like been. we've never been using it. I don't even know why he thought, like, I've literally, I don't even think even when I was living there that I was really actively using the Netflix, like, ever. Yeah, I, I don't Like, know. I don't, like, I don't even think, like, I've ever, ever used it. Right? I, I, <laughs> I'm so confused by why he would think that. <laughs> Yay! We're 25, 25! Now we can speed past things. Uh, I'm gonna tell you something, what was it? Hold on, it's at the tip of my brain. I don't know what it was I was going to say. That's an intriguing story. <laughs> um, <coughs> I'm gonna unlock makeup. What the hell? I don't know, Sam. Envy, whoever. <laughs> <laughs> I think they know my name by now. No, they don't. <laughs> um, damn it, I have no idea. It, it's gone. It's not happening. I give up. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep taking you, naps. You remember how I told you a certain individual that I am acquainted with didn't come over on the day they originally stated they may be coming over? Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm trying to be all like... <laughs> I'm familiar. I have no idea if they watch the videos or not. I don't think they know of the videos. I think you're good. They follow you on Tumblr. Yeah, I don't post it that often. Ever, like, I don't know. Who knows? Anyways. She's, like, actively, like, all over Tumblr, though, so... Um... Anyways, what was I saying about that? No oh, that loading was, screen. That was because the reason they didn't actually show up on the day they may have already said they would was because they didn't realize there was a Monday in between. Like they didn't realize there was a Monday in between the, the Monday that passed and the Monday that was coming up. Oh, that's. And I was like, well, I forgive that. <laughs> yeah. But Chris is all like, no. <laughs> okay. And I'm just like, whatever, I don't really care. Hey, give <laughs> me some of that. Jisoo, right? did you... Did... Did... Hold on. <laughs> Jisoo did just ask for an orange. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hijong, I think Jisoo's not sick. Hmm? I'm not sick. Not physically, I mean mentally. Is that supposed to be an insult? <sighs> Sai. The Sai is mine, yo. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I keep saying yo. <laughs> Since when did you eat oranges? Are you going through depression? No. There's a study result that says that the cats eat vegetables only when they're depressed. Bunny, you actually read a study on cats. You must love cats then. Why would I be crazy enough to like cats? I just happened to stumble upon the study. It's me. Is me eating an orange a, re a weird thing? I think it's even more weird that the food giver is the, n the next to that young master rabbit 24-7. I agree with that statement. You're right. <clears throat> the three of them suddenly turned to look at me. <laughs> while I was peeling apples and at Jayon who was munching on the peeled apples. That was really could have been worded a lot better. <laughs> well, why? Do we look weird? Yes. Food giver, you're really something. What do you mean? You drove off that show off rabbit and took his place instead. That's not what happened. Yes, it is. You homewrecker. Damn it. <laughs> but I guess he could think that way since he doesn't know the whole story. That is the whole story. Yeah. Yeah, who knew that the big rabbit would leave so easily? This just proves that rabbits aren't loyal. Funny that a cat just say that. Although I wanted to defend Jihei, I couldn't say what had happened. Why? You were there. Bunny, are you saying that I look unloyal? I'm the most loyal cat there is. Giant Gion is the most loyal cat. I'm not so sure about that. Hmm. Jayan didn't say anything and continued to concentrate on eating apples. After the incident, we never once talked about Jihei. But one thing for sure is that Jayan is making an effort to do even the smallest things by himself. Except for, you know, cut apples. I actually feel quite proud of him. Of course, I still cut the apples for him, though. Hey, look, she, she heard you. <sighs> Maybe Jihei Jung likes the little rabbit. Ow! So by Gian's comment, I cut my finger with a knife. Clumsy. What is he trying to say? I think he said what he's trying to say. <laughs> like him, of course. It's not like I don't like him. But if they were to ask whether I like him, then... That was a weird statement. Blind. <laughs> <laughs> just... Oh my god, he's a vampire! He's dirty! Jaya murmured monotonously. <laughs> Blood? Yes, you're bleeding. You're bleeding! <laughs> My finger is bleeding, yes. We've been this. You knew you cut your finger. You mentioned it. How clumsy. Hey, Jung, are you okay? Hey, Band-Aid. How much is like... Jisoo quickly got up to his feet to get the first aid kit. Giant grabbed my injured finger and stared at the cut. Oh my god, he's gonna drink the blood. Oh, that's so gross. I was leaning on my fist and my thumb, like, jabbed into my jugular. <laughs> that really what? hurt. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Don't... Well, you're leaning in a weird way. <laughs> like, when I, like, 
My thumbs are out when I lean on my fist. Like, why are you leaning like that? I know, like, they were out, but they're, like, in, like, against my neck. So when I lean too hard, it, like, yeah, it, like... I, I'm, like, you're, like, you're leaning in a weird way. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're, you're leaning weird. I'm fine, really. Huh? Yeah, I took my finger put it in. Ew, I knew this was gonna happen. I just called it. <gasps> Ew, we don't need to see the scene, you creep. What? So I guess instead of a kissing scene, we get a sucking scene? <laughs> Everybody show <laughs> them! Disgusting. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so disturbed. I like how the, the other rabbit's just like, whatever, this happens every day. Gian <laughs> stared in amazement. I think that's more like... <laughs> what is going on? My finger is in Gian's <laughs> mouth. Take it out! It feels so... What? Huh? Food, food giver? Whoa! Jisoo, who was running towards at the first aid kit, lost his spinning and tripped. Oh my god, this seems- th Oh my god, they're all gonna die! <laughs> Jisoo, are you okay? Put the knife down, lady! <laughs> the first aid kit rolled on the floor. Damn, I tripped because of you! What the hell is the rabbit doing? I think that's the wrong voice. No, it's the low voice. Uh, okay, never mind. Jisoo okay. shouted in amazement. My, G, G, yeah, my, f my finger, can you, you can. I was to say you can let go now. But my face is burning up. This feels strange. The music to this is hilarious. Is it really? <laughs> oh my god, I just love how Chi Wu is just like, <laughs> These whatever. little rabbits, I guess you are a man after all. Oh my god. <laughs> Why is Chi Wu so unaffected by this? <laughs> This is so, oh my god. Like, what the hell is going on? This is so bizarre. Can we just, like, stop? Like, can you just take your hand back now? <laughs> Stupid cat, I can't believe that you can't even take something like that. It's obviously more studying than it was. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> JC looked dumbfounded. What then? Food giver and that rabbit? JC Mutter is still looking dumbfounded. No way! No way! And it sure took you a long time for, for your minuscule brain to figure that out. Then food giver and that munchkin rabbit are. Jisoo, so basically they are lovey-dovey couple? No. We're we're not lovey-dovey. <clears throat> I quickly- No you didn't! That was not, did not quick that at all! Quickly. That was really weird and that. awkward. I quickly pulled my finger away from Jion's mouth. Lovey-dovey. Are you okay now? What a creep. I see, then I, I, to the munchkin. Yup. And you see, you lost the little rabbit. We are lost. What does he mean by lost? This, this can't be happening. No way. I thought he was the easiest one to defeat. What on earth are they talking about? <clears throat> I know trying to staring at my face. Alright, he asked what else, alright? Yeah, Jian, I'm fine. Thank you. Jian probably did that because he was worried about me. It was still creepy. Right? Although it's something I can't quite understand. Like, what? Like, use a cloth or something. Jeez. <laughs> so much bacteria. What? I'm going to cut them now. Oh, the apples. I thought he, he meant finger as well. <laughs> and Jian reached his hand out for the knife. Don't give him a knife. He's like a child. What? Jian's going to cut the apples? No, you'll get hurt. It's true, you will. But I can't have you being hurt again. Creep. But you'll end up hurting yourself. I think he might even just slice his finger off. Oh, well, you have like no faith in him. Right? Hmm? It can't be that hard to cut an apple. <laughs> I could feel several pairs of eyes on me from behind. Yuck, they're so mushy. Gian was looking at us. They wear the, wear the weirdest clothing. This is making me gag. They're aliens. I don't care. Bunny, if I want to agree with you. Oh, what did we do? I am positioning myself in a different position. Oh. This is really too much. Jisoo! I can't... I can't bear to see you get hurt. But Gion, you'll <laughs> get hurt. This house is really full of idiots. 
<clears throat> I see. I guess we were acting a bit mushy. I suddenly became embarrassed. I glanced at Jion. He was just blinking with a blank look on his face, as if nothing was wrong. Is he, like, stoned all the time? Yes. Stoned yes. through apples. <laughs> Probably. Oh my gosh. That was weird. <laughs> all right. All I do right. not accept that. Let us speed through this process. I think I'm a cavity. Oh. That's not good. It's life. Go to the doctor. No. Okay. Don't go to the doctor. <laughs> I will. Or you not. don't go to the dentist. Don't, don't go to the doctor. <laughs> I have a cavity, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> they are like, okay. They're like, um, we would like you to go to a dentist. I said, no, I think I'm going to stay here. <laughs> not uh, my tooth. <laughs> I think you need to fix this for me. I need many painkillers. <laughs> <laughs> many, many, many. You just do what I did and brush obsessively until it goes away. No. Okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that toothpaste had other flavors. What? You know? Like, I knew there was, like, cinnamon and mint, but I didn't realize there was, like, actively, like, flavors. Like, chocolate. Oh. Yeah, like, bubblegum? Like, we used to get bubblegum all the time. Like, but you know, you can get it, like, at the store, though. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. Not just, like, at a dentist. Yeah. I thought just, that was just, like, a special thing dentists did. Oh, no. Yeah, I know. I realize that now. So did you get different flavors? No, of course not. That'd be weird. <laughs> but I didn't realize. Oh. Now I know. Yes. I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should just get like one of every flavor available and see what is like the best. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but I, I didn't want to spend that much money on toothpaste. <laughs> yeah. It seems a little uh, extreme. Especially if I end up not liking a lot of the flavors and that's just like, I'm literally just throwing them away. Yeah. You notice that that place is called Chariots? Yeah. And it, it, this game is by... Chariots, yeah. Yeah. They actually do that a lot. Chariots, specifically? No, like, in, in their backdrop scenes, they have a lot of, like, Chariot stuff. Or, like, Interesting. product placement they really, stuff. They really wanted us to know it's them. Mm -hmm. They should put it on the TV. Chariots. Right. <clears throat> I've got a really bad headache. I blame you. Take something. Okay. Headache remover. Okay. <clears throat> That's one way to do it. So. Tell me about your day. Um. I worked. That's good. People were relatively... Um, difficult. Yeah. But I didn't get that many chats, so I didn't care. Can I eat this? Oh, awesome. I ate the apple. You gained femininity from eating the apple? Yeah, uh, yep. Interesting, that eating gained you femininity. Only the apple, though. Hmm. Rainbow! <clears throat> You need a cut. Oh, loading screen. Wow, well, ready? The answer was inside you all along. You only happen to realize it now. Creepy. I'm reading those words to myself. I picked up the phone. <coughs> the answer was in me all this time. And even if mom hates me for wanting to change, I can still them on. I am no longer. Mom, it's me. She's gonna tell her that she's changing? She's gonna be like, yo, I decided to change. I'm romancing a bunny. <laughs> oh my god, no one would be okay with that. I'm no longer a child. I'm sorry for not having called you recently. I want to tell you something. I've made an important decision for my future. Though you may claim that I'm making the wrong decision. And although you may be right, I want to give it a try. I'm going to study art when I graduate. I can hear Mama's loud voice over the phone. You do her voice. <sighs> So you went out of the house just to do that. Do you know how much I invested in you? Private kindergarten, speech class, English class, and you're telling me what? Art? It still hurts to hear those words from mom. Her angry words pierced my heart like a sword. But I... I guess it's wrong of me to expect something from you. Mom, stop. A distance began to form between us. 
Stop blaming dad for everything. What? She didn't even mention your dad. What? Are you out of your mind? I don't know why that's my go-to voice. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, I'm the one who decided my life. Even if I make the wrong decision, it's my. it was my own, not dad's. She didn't mention- uh, Don't be afraid. I'll always support your decision. Parentheses slash I bracket. <laughs> you didn't need a recess. <laughs> don't be afraid. I will be okay. You don't need to make my cho make choices for me anymore. I'm going to lead my own life now. Nothing will actually begin unless I make decisions for myself. So, Mom, can't you just watch me making my own making? Can't you can't you just watch me making mistakes and doing what I want? I want to ask her to support me, like Jayan. It'll be enough just to have her watch me. Just watch me without turning your back on me. I absolutely have had it with you. <laughs> but what was being told over the phone went against my wishes. I already knew that it would be like this. I lived long enough with mom to know what kind of person she is. I already knew that she wasn't going to give me a chance. Mom. I don't need to hear any longer. In fact, I'm relieved. Don't ever call me again. And mom turned her back on me. Like, however you want. Live. <laughs> Mom is leaving me. <laughs> hmm. And that was the end of our phone conversation. That's strange. I thought that once Mom leaves me, the world would fall apart. That I would be terribly lonely. But I'm fine. It's because she was a terrible mother. Jayan was right. She was. You gave Jayan. You gave He Jung a giant voice. I shouldn't have been afraid. Oh, no. well, whatever. For the first time, I felt that I truly became an independent adult. Mm. And we're still on 25 25, so time to speed through. Anyways, uh, um, how do we get it to jump up to 50? We wait. Oh, that's annoying. It's, it's time based. That's annoying. Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's how the game works. Oy vey. Um. <gasps> so you should come over. Maybe tomorrow. I'll even pick you up if you want. And then we can play that game so we can finish okay. the game. Oh, uh, maybe. I don't know. I'll give you an apple. No. I do not like apples. See? It's at 13 now! That's because he that's just... Enjoys our finger being sucked by other people. That was creepy. Don't mention that ever again. <laughs> um. <sighs> no, but it'd be fun. I'll give you money. I don't want money. Like, oh my gosh. Let me bribe you. Uh, if I, 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 I come over every freaking weekend. I think it's pretty obvious I'm going to either be there tomorrow or the next day. Just, you know, bring your stuff. I will do what I want, thank you. Hater. It's April 1st. We're getting closer. To what? Um, the next jump. When's the next jump? Do you know? I don't remember. Oh. Uh, then how can you possibly know that we're getting closer? Because I know that we're getting closer. Because oh, I think no. May is the last... May or June is the last... Um, is the end. Oh, really? I think so. Or July. It's one of those. It's within it's the next big, three months. This, this is a really big difference. It's not past. It's not past July. Okay. <sighs> wow, we got really quiet. Yep. Sorry about that. Oh, look, a loading screen. Spring has already come. That's mine! Stop it! <laughs> come to think of it, this winter wasn't all that cold. Maybe it's because of global warming. <laughs> it is global warming. Greenhouse gas really should be reduced. That was random. <laughs> it really kind of was. <laughs> Staring up at the blue sky, I let out a random statement. Well, at least you understand. <laughs> Jerry, who was sitting next to me, blinked his eyes. To my surprise, I was doing fine. 
Mom told me never to call her again, but for some reason I felt oddly calm. You look down. Giant murmured. Do I? I guess I'm a little. I guess I'm just a little worried, but I feel that I've come and become a true independent adult now. Jion quietly listened. Choosing to become an adult is a lonely process, I think. Do you regret it? No, I've put off making my own decisions for too long. It took me four years after high school graduation. It took me a long time to tell my mom what I really want. I thought I would I would automatically become an adult once I hit a certain age, but now I know it isn't that isn't the case. I thought that I would become an adult as soon as I graduate from high school. Why do we have to have so many white screens and black screens? I thought that living alone meant that I was an adult. I don't know, but it's like... <laughs> noxious. <laughs> but I was actually a child playing in an adult. To become an adult, to be completely independent from your parents. To decide my own future. The outcome with great responsibility. I don't understand why she doesn't talk to her dad. His dad dead. Remember we decided that um, the mom killed him. <laughs> Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I thought it said somewhere that he was, like, off married to someone else, though. I don't know. I'm envious of you. John is looking at my eyes. I have been putting off making a decision, too. You, too? John closed his eyes. Yes. Now that I think about it, John said something about that before. Does this sound a little less echoey? Because I put pictures up around my desk. Yeah. Are you just saying that? No. Okay. Eddie, but try and get like a rug too. Knows the answer already. Oh, I like rugs. It takes time for him to admit it. Me as well. <clears throat> By decision, does he mean letting me Jihei go? Jihei had left for good. Is John really all right? Maybe you should ask him. He looks fine on the outside. Bit. I have a question. You could ask. What had really happened between Jion and Jihei? Why did Jaren say that he can never be forgiven by Jihei? Ooh, I want to know too. Did he kill him? Did Jaren really ruin Jihei's happiness? He killed her. With an apple. While well, eating an apple. Jihei said no, but... You know, what you said when Jihei le had left. Oh my god, he's gonna rage at her. Jaren was crying at the time. Can you tell me what happened in the past between you two? And we'll find out in the next episode! What? Why? No. Ready? No. And? No, seriously, don't. It's like, we'll just. Why would we stop in the middle of a scene? Suspense. No! <laughs> John opened his eyes slowly. Yes. He spoke without hesitation. Since I was born, I only had ambitious people around me. Because everybody believed that I would be the next king. They believed that he would be a king since he was born? That's usually how Princeton works. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like, isn't that kind of like the very definition of becoming a prince? <laughs> Why? In my world, there is a legend that a rabbit with pure white hair and ruby red eyes will be born with the gift of precognition. <clears throat> so people thought that because of how you look? Yes, everyone talked about how I'll become a great king. Many aristocrats fought to be close by my, my close aides. Everyone was nice to me, but I knew from the beginning that they're all hypocrites. Hypocrites? So people around John were nice to him only because they expected that he'll be he'll one day become a king? They should have thought that even without the hair. <laughs> Although everyone had acted friendly, John knew from the beginning that it was all a lie. He must have been terribly lonely. <laughs> I always I so I always missed my mother. <clears throat> right, he said his mother is on a different class. Maybe the guy had different kids like more than one kid oh that's possible that is true no one saw me for who i was but my mother did well yeah that's usually what mothers do i mean aside from he junks he junks mom sucks <laughs> and i greatly appreciated her doing so i can't imagine how it would feel to be separated from your mother from birth you should have been <laughs> Jan's past must be lonelier than i thought and as if she knew what i truly needed she sent eddie to look after me tangled on my wires. Eddie really wanted to protect me. He knew more than anyone else how my mother felt. Not being able to be close to someone because of how uh, how his social class. Yeah. But people hated Eddie. Because of his hair color? 
Yes, so I made Eddie into a knight when I was ten. Everyone was against it, but ultimately Eddie became my knight. And I began to use Eddie. Use him? <laughs> yes. I didn't want to be involved with noisy aristocrats, so I used Eddie as my shield. Oh, now I understand what Giants had said before. That he used Jihei because of his selfishness. Jihei never just avoided my command. Another loading screen? A loading within our loading? Yep. Prince, aren't you going to respond to the invitation? It's part of the plot to get me into the power of struggle. I'm only 11. Eddie, why does everyone think I'm going to be become the king only because of the color of my hair and eyes? Because all the other kings who had the power of precognition had the same appearance as you, my prince. But that doesn't mean that I will have that power. If another prince realizes the power, everyone will abandon me. I'm not interested in being a king, Eddie. You know that. I do, my prince. I will follow any decision of yours. Then go to the ball and send me. And the other pirate party hosted by the duke. As you wish. You're going to be with me even if I'm not king, right? You'll be with me forever, right? Yes, as long as you do not abandon me, I will forever be your knight. And then you abandon him. Yep. Jerk. Eddie really stayed by my side until the end. Until I let him go. John's voice sounded lonely. Then one day, I realized my power. Then you were officially chosen for the next king? No, I hid the fact that I had the power. Because I didn't want to become the next king. Hide. Then people in Jaren's world still don't know that Jaren has the power? I ran away. And I began to become more dependent on Eddie. I became obsessed with him. Yeah, well, we knew that. Yeah. Eddie? Eddie? Yes, my prince. Eddie. Eddie. Prince. I just saw. I just saw. Prince? The power? I'm scared. 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 Oh my god, everyone, so repetitive. Everyone will now fight over putting me on the throne. Eddie, how, how can I become a king? This isn't right. Something must be wrong. Eddie, please, don't tell anyone. This is a secret between the two of us. Prince. <clears throat> Eddie, stay with me, please. Yeah, same thing. Don't leave me. You'll always be my side, right? No matter what happens, you won't leave me, right? You'll protect me, right? Gosh, he's so needy. <laughs> I ran away from everything. And I depended on Eddie for everything. He was the only one who knew my secret, the only one who understood me. John smiled sadly. <clears throat> I was always so anxious if Eddie wasn't with me. As I became older, other members of the royal family and the aristocrats became began to have more interest in me. Everyone waited for the moment, for the moment for the for me to realize the power, and I received dozens of invitations to social parties every day. I didn't want to go anywhere. I was scared because everyone was superficial. So I always sent Eddie to the places that I had been invited to. I didn't bother to know how Eddie must have felt. Dancing with other women instead of me. Oh my god. I was selfish. Why did you say oh my god? Like, I read that wrong. I read it like... It was as if Ed Eddie was, should have been dancing with uh, Jayon, not yeah. as... Gotcha. Instead of Jayon dancing with the ladies, I was like, wow, yeah. see, see, they are dating. But then I was like, wait, no, he means the other. I was foolish. There were people who didn't welcome Eddie because of his looks, but Eddie never once complained. Eddie did anything to protect me. I don't know exactly how much she had sacrificed for Jaron. But I could tell that Jaron was ridden with guilt. And Eddie, for the first time, he fell in love with a woman. Jihei? In love? Scandalous. I can't imagine. Jihei didn't seem like a person who'd fall in love. Jihei nodded. The woman didn't care about Eddie's looks at all. She truly loved him. And Eddie loved her. She was the first person to see him for who he truly was, so I think it was natural for him to be attracted to her. She was kind, more kind than my selfish self. Well, the music is pretty. Oh. Um, are you still there? 
Sorry, I was letting the viewers listen to the music. <laughs> I was like, what the hell just happened? <laughs> Sorry, anyways. Long pause. <laughs> I was letting the music play. But I became anxious. Because I felt that Eddie was not mine. I understood why John had felt that way. If the only person who knows my secret, the only person who protects me, has found another special someone beside me, I would be nervous too. I see. You met her because of me. You were supposed to be happy and I. So he meant the woman when he said her. I used my power to see the woman's future. And it ended in death. Her future? I knew it was wrong, but I was just so anxious that Eddie will abandon me to be with the woman, so... Jayan. He was just that nervous. <sighs> But her future was entirely unexpected. John closed his eyes. <clears throat> unexpected? What did he see? The woman whom Eddie loved for the first time. I saw her taking her life away. Oh my gosh! Because what? of apples! <laughs> Take her life away? Why would she do that? The woman's family disapproved of Eddie, and because she was driven to despair, she... That's terrible. Hearing this story made my heart break. I had no idea that G.A. had had such a tragic past. I did. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> but even after seeing that, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't do anything. John's face was filled with guilt. If I told her about it in advance, she may be alive. And if you told her... It's, it's not like it was a surprise to herself. Right? <laughs> I'm sure he meant to tell Jihei, not... Yeah, I've... I only thought about myself. That if she disappears, Eddie will be mine and will continue to protect me. I was selfish. Yeah, that is kind of janked. Yeah, well, yeah. Then the woman that Jihei loved is... Yeah, nodded slowly. She's gone? And... For the first time, I saw Eddie falling apart. Jihei fell apart. Mm -hmm. After losing his loved one. This is heartbreaking. Eddie said everything was his fault. He And he said without me, there was no reason for him, for him, him to exist in this world. He said he should have died instead. He blamed himself. But Eddie can't die at his will as long as I'm alive. So Eddie continued to stay by my side. He stayed with me without any complaints. It's my fault that Eddie is miserable. Jayan stopped talking and hung his head. <laughs> Jihei was suffering with guilt, but Jayan as well. Jihei is the only person whom Jayan could open up to. And because of his strong attachment to Jihei, he ended up hurting both of them. If Jayan had not seen the woman's future, he wouldn't have felt so guilty like this. But because he knew, he had suffered all this time. Jan acknowledged his obsession with Jihei and let him go. I want you to be happy. I mean it, Eddie. John's words to Jihei, those are from the bottom of Jian's heart. He truly cares about Jihei. I stretched out my hands towards Jian, who was trembling. I didn't want to see him being sad anymore. More hugging. I... I didn't know anything at all when I first saw him. I just thought that he had no worries since he was always so spaced out. But? I, want, I wanted to make Eddie happy. I had no idea. That he was this pained by guilt. <clears throat> but I realized that I can't make him happy because Eddie is too nice. My selfishness makes Eddie miserable. I wish... My clothes were getting damp by John's tears. I wish Eddie would rather just blame me. I wish he would just call me selfish and even curse at me. How fool- how, he's so foolish. He only knows how to give to other people. Why? John is falling apart in front of me. Jihei is not here anymore. The giant grew up to a wonderful person who is very thoughtful and considerate. Jian, Jian. But it's so strange. Even- because even so, I- I'm so selfish. I miss Eddie very much. I want to see Eddie. John. I thought he was really okay because he pretended as if everything was alright. 
but I had no idea. It's because you didn't ask, <laughs> jerk. Don't cry, Jion. I had no idea that Jion was sad. I wish I could comfort Jion's grief even just a little bit. I'm not Jihei. But I want to comfort Jion. I'm not Jihei, but I'll stay by your side. I may never be as special as Jihei was to Jion, but... Okay. The least I can do is accept Jion, even during times when he's vulnerable as he is now. Just as Jihei said, Jion will be kind and benevolent king. And someday he will overcome his feelings of guilt and grow into a man of fine character. Please stay with me. Though he is crying in my arms now, Jion is and will continue to grow. This looks really weird. Why did they change the font? <laughs> Alright, see you guys on the next episode. Haphazardly out.